Hey, what's going on guys? It is OGC here. Today we are going to take a peek at some level 300 IQ PvP plays. So if you guys are here for some really high-end PvP, top tier, some of the best players in the entire world, in my biased opinion, then stick around because you are at the right place. Welcome! E aí galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. So hey guys, uh, it's OGC. So first one we're going to do today is we're going to take a peek at Monica Kim. Monica Kim is from 1188. Uh, this is her going up against uh, Nacho Ra, Nacho Ra, uh, Nacho Hombre. And um, yeah, Monica Kim was outgunned. So her level 14 swordsmen have 114k HP. The huntresses that she is going up against have 1.1 million HP. Crazy, crazy, big difference. Also, the archer she's going up against have 119, she's got 108. And anyways, the, the list goes on. We can take a quick peek at stats. Uh, I don't know about you guys, my money's on Monica Kim. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, let, let's retry this real quick. All right, so here we go. Monica Kim go, goes out. She's got her fenders on the bottom. And on the top, it looks like Jax on Jax. Monica Kim's Jax just plows right through uh, the, the tree. And the enemy's Jax is getting hung up uh, on, on a bunch of swordsmen, and the dragon is down there as well. The bottom is pretty well tied up between both sides. But I think where we'll notice the, the biggest difference is in this top side. Uh, Monica Kim's Jax is slowly starting to, to put some holes through, through the enemy. The enemy is actually advancing into Monica Kim's bottom side. She does Fenris. Fenris runs in circles behind the line before running out. And on top, it actually looks like Jax is down. So Monica Kim took out the enemy's Jax and the enemy's Balrog. Good job, Monica Kim. You're better than me already. Uh, and it looks like she's pressing her way down. The Fenris, I'm not sure what, what happened to Monica Kim's Fenris. Um, maybe he moved and I just can't see him. But all around, Monica Kim just came through and absolutely uh, dominated this person. Their Huntresses were so much stronger than uh, her, her base troops. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. So uh, level 300 IQ PvP right here. Monica Kim just comes out and crushes it. So now we'll jump into um, uh, PvP replays from Clash of Fate from yesterday with the Blood Moon House. So some people sent me uh, messages and I need to find where I put them all. So we're going to pin that to top and we have a bunch from Toby. So Toby fought pretty much every possible race except for Lich I think. So we'll look at this first one. So this is Toby going up against uh, a dwarf player. And uh, we'll take a quick peek at stats. So it's it, about 50-50 here. And let's go watch this replay. I have a feeling that Toby is going to win. So Toby is using one pack of swords, it looks like, and a bunch of spears. Now, Toby's extremely strong, so if, if you guys want to duplicate this, you have to have some really strong spears. Because spears, uh, from my perspective, you're either going to crush it or you're, you're going to get crushed. Uh, if you don't have moral boosts on them, they're very hard to keep alive. If you can get moral boosts on them and, and say you have like a noble blood dragon for some healing, uh, they, they can do surprisingly well and, and be a little bit resilient. They're nothing like swordsmen when it comes to resiliency, but uh, they, they can be pretty good. So right here, we have a 1.3, almost a 1.4 million HP Huntress set up uh, with 200k archers. All right, to Toby's archers are, are slightly better. Um, wow. I just want to take a, a peek at the, the enemy jacks. Level 60. With 258,000 attack, oh my gosh, that is just brutal. And it looks like Toby just won in might. Absolutely amazing. So Toby's got the same formation, uh, two archers, three spears, one swords. The swords are on the south side. 
Because of Toby's fire mage with the archers, with the spears, and the late black hole from the enemy, he was able to take down one tree, now two trees. He's moving over for the third tree, and then he's going to have that bottom side. His top side right now is uh, holding on to um, the top extremely well, which buys time for his bottom side with all of those spears, archers, jacks, uh, to just swing up. Right, right on through the enemy. Uh, the enemy had has no chance. I think they deployed. What is that? Five, five trees total. But the problem, one of the problems is, I still don't think that trees can go into the front line super well. I think that they're still better off behind a, a pack of huntresses. So yeah, they they had uh, five five trees there. Nice fight, Toby. Remember, guys, if anyone's confused, it is um, smart plus Toby uh, plus beast equals unstoppable. So this is Toby going up against another uh, self player. This one's using um, many more huntresses. They do actually have one pack of silver huntresses and only one pack of archers. And if we look at the stats here, I, I believe Toby won, won in might. All right, so the enemy line is looking a little thin. No dragon, no, no turtle. But they just have so many hunches. So, so now it, the, the top side for, for Toby needs to cut through everything before the, the spears uh, lose too much HP. You can see the enemy's uh, uh, Denji pretty much wiping out that, that one pack of uh, spears in, right, right there. Um, that's my worst fear with the with the spears. And the, on the bottom side, uh, it, it looks like um, the swordsman got wiped out. Okay, Toby resurrected the swordsman. By the way, Toby's whole army is coming from the top right now. And Toby's Denji bought so much time. It, it's, it's amazing. So Toby had a wonderful play here. His swordsman bought plenty of time. He, he had Viri enough so he could do the resurrection. Uh, worked out beautifully for him. Then he finishes this player off. So remember, guys, the, these are um, these these are high end PVPs. So these these are things that uh, like are, are well beyond my realm. Uh, you'd have to ask yourself if if it's possible within your realm. Let's take a quick peek at Toby's dragon. Uh, he's got the scales, three blessed purples, blessed noble blood, and blessed hero bread. Person he's going up against has the scales, aerial blast, rebirth. Uh, I I actually really do like this. Uh, really do like this skill. Um, but anyways, I, I digress. They have almost 300k HP samurais. That's just insane. And just for perspective, let's take a quick peek at this person's tracks. Only level 58, um, but almost 200k attack. So this, this Rockin' player is no slouch. This Rockin' player is, is very strong. And I always get afraid of, of using Spears going up against Rockin' uh, because of the, the moral. So the Samurais don't have moral claps. The Spears do. And that always makes me afraid of using the Spears against them. But it, it looks like uh, <laughs> between Toby's Archers and uh, Jax and, and everything else... He just cuts through. If if you want to see a pure offensive player, that that is Sobe. Uh, so aggressive with his play style. It's kind of like uh, basketball. If you if if you know the sport basketball, you grew up playing basketball. You know everything with basketball. You can kind of watch uh, the body language of a basketball player and kind of see uh, personality traits in in some ways. You can do the same thing with video games. If you understand a, a game even a little bit, um, you can read people's body language like based on how their character moves in the game. Um, and if I had to be a betting person uh, and I had to read Toby's um, uh, formation uh, body language, then I, I would have to assume that uh, very aggressive. Which makes sense because uh, you're running with uh, spears, you're running with um, two packs of archers, and yeah, you got to. So the enemy here has 250k. 
So Toby's spears are a little bit stronger than, than this person. Um, and it looks like Toby lost in might, uh, which has been his normal go-to. So let, let's see if that plays a, a difference in this. This is uh, five packs of spears versus uh, three packs, one pack of swords and two archers. And it looks like Toby got the moral boost. As soon as, if you're doing human versus human, especially with all of the, these spears, if one side gets a moral boost and the other does not, I, I, I mean, it's over. Unless your Belrog is so tanky that it just does not die. But for the vast majority of people, it's just over. So great, great play, Toby. Let's take one, one more quick peek at, at damage. Those archers pumping out damage. Zen archers, ladies and gentlemen. Zen archers. All right, so this is going to be uh, the last one from, from Toby. This is Toby going up against the Rockin' player again. So let's see if there's any different results this time. So the top side this time for Toby is the uh, Saul side, whereas the bottom side is going to be his power side. And if you notice, Toby's jacks with the archers and everything are doing a much better job at taking down Belrog than I could ever dream of. Very jealous of that, Mr. Toby. Uh, on, the, on the top, um, he is stalling out and he's actually pressing forwards. Even going against the Jax doing spray and pray, uh, Toby's troops are still pressing forwards. They are very strong. He's got the fire mage going now. Uh, with the fire mage, with the spray and pray support from Jax, I mean, it is all but over. It's a timing issue. Mako puts it out. It's, it's like the long range artillery is just coming in, peppering down um, the uh, seven Chinese letter name person, doing a really good job. So. Great, great fight, Toby, all, all around. Uh, Toby is one of those people that helped carry me through um, Clash of Fate this season. The other person that, that really, uh, you know, picked up my slack and carried me through uh, was uh, this individual named AHS, who's going up against um, a Rockin', and I think this is going to be a super short fight. So... We, we can see from the get-go on the top side is AHS's power side. It, it's similar to mine where he has the, the spears in, in the back. Um, I think he has spears in the front as well. And down on the bottom. So AHS is running with a lot more spears. Uh, but I do like his, his, his top section. Mostly because it is similar to mine. Um, I, I probably took it from him. AHS is, is uh, by far one of the most knowledgeable people that I, I know in, in the game. Um, he gets super annoyed because all I do is ask questions uh, to him non-stop. I'm just kidding. He, he's an adult. He, he'd ask me to stop if he wanted me to. And he is he is a powerhouse in the game. So his, uh, his top troops are pretty much down. He still gets the pack of swordsmen up with the archers that take down the, the dragon. Now, there is a Belrog up there with all, all these stars, um, or the, the, the five things over the head. So that Belrog is going down um, at a much faster pace than I, I could ever pull off. But it is buying time for, it, for, it, for this enemy opponent, who still has their jacks up, by the way. Still doing spray and pray. So the enemy jacks is just standing there, taking down um, all of the troops. Okay, the enemy Jax finally goes down. Mako's still up with with Rose. But now down down here, we have Fenris, we still have Lunella, uh, and we still have uh, like three packs of uh, Rock and Swords. So the, the enemy player is actually doing a really good job with how they, they use Lunella to buy time. Uh, by, by doing the um, uh, phase, phase shifting, Putting out those suns, it, it buys time and it comes down to the last second. And it looks like everything is dead from, from the enemy. Uh, very, very close, very long battle. And I mean, it wasn't close. AHS had, had it time-wise. He, he was pretty much trying to uh, play the void and finish with, within a, a two-minute timer. Uh, the opponent was trying to stall him out. 
Next we have uh, a friendly rockin' player. Yeah, score rockin'. 185k swords going up against 250k uh, HP spears. Looks like our friendly rockin' player won in uh, stamina. They did not offer up a huge bonus uh, when it comes to might or command to the enemy, but a slight bonus to each. Uh, so the enemy does not have a, a dragon out, and our ally has a onyx. Okay, it has scales, four purples, and bless human bread. So let, let's see how this turns out for our friendly rock and friend. Friendly rock and friend. So our friendly rock and friend is going out there, and I apologize, I just can't pronounce the name. If I try, I'm going to butcher it. Um, but our friendly rock and friend is going out there. The enemy actually got a moral boost on the bottom side of the map. The top side is getting absolutely eaten up. But the enemy's troops all ran by Jax. Okay, the Denji's coming up there now. Now it's Denji versus Jax. Jax is killing him? Okay, Jax, Jax is going to get the, the Denji. Jax took off another hero. And now Jax is somehow still alive, hitting from the back. Oh, that must have been Rufio that he took down. So our friendly Rockin player survived the bottom. And their Jax somehow still alive, who can just pepper in against the enemy. He's still got Belrog up too, which the enemy Jax can't kill with the Denji on the Jax. This person's Jax, uh, the friendly Rockin uh, player, their Jax in tankiness of, of their swords uh, totally won this. Holy crap, good job. I see halfway through, as, as soon as uh, the, the top side just collapsed, I, I thought it was over because I thought that they were going to lose Jax. But they held on to Jax right there, and their, their Jax, holy crap, man. I want to see the damages again afterwards because uh, that was some cool stuff. There we go. Yeah, so uh, significant damage output by Jax. <laughs> he just kind of stood up there uh, like a battleship off the coast just destroying the land troops nonstop. Oh my gosh. So that, guys, that's that's some uh, PvP from uh, Clash of Fate. Um, I'm calling this 300 IQ simply because... It is absolutely amazing. Most of these players are top tier players. Um, so if you guys want to see more awesome content, please like the channel. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Uh, there's a bunch of information in, in the link below this channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you found this interesting, if you want to see more high-end PvP, uh, or if you want to see more type of uh, be beginner stuff. Uh, please let me know either way. Anyways, guys, until tomorrow, have a great day.